Length of arc and area of sector. In this video, we are going to focus on practical examples. You will find this on page 518 in the Namibia Ordinary Level Mathematics Textbook, Y equals MX plus C to success. Let's look at an example. An treadle or measuring wheel is a device which is used for measuring distances. The circumference of the wheel is exactly one meter. Find the radius of the wheel. So, the circumference of a circle is 2 pi r. So, if I want to find the radius, I just put the 1, I put the 2 pi r, I just divide and I get this meters. So, if, it's, if I want to take it to centimeters, it will be 515.9. So, this was just with a circle. But in this, I want you to stop the video now. And I want you to do try now 26. And I want you to do number four, because here we will work with sectors of circles. Again, you can continue the video as soon as you are finished. Let's read it nicely. The diagram shows a large window in a church. AXB, AXB is an arc of a circle center C. So there is the circle, there is the center. The lines OA, OA and OB are tangents to this circle. The other four panels are each identically to OAXB, so these are all the same to this one. O is the center of the larger circle which touches arc AXB at X. OC, <coughs> let's just say OC, that one, I think I want to mark it better for you. OC, that one, is 6. And angle OCB, OCB, is 60. Now, <coughs> let's start. Show that BC, now where is BC? BC is 3 meters. Now, if you look there, you will see that you have a 90 degree. So let's just take out that triangle. So we're going to do number 4. And I'm first taking out the triangle there that you can see it. So if you look, oh, and I want to use again a pen. Um, I'm going to try to draw it more or less like that. So there is my 90. Okay. Okay. So this angle here, and if I was drawing it so nicely, is 90. So if I'm going to fill in all the information I have, then this one is going to be 6, there's my 90, and I have that this angle here, because it's identically, will be 60. So if I'm standing here, remember I'm standing there, and I name my sides, the one opposite the 90 is my hypotenuse, the one opposite me is opposite, and the one next to me is adjacent. Now, who's playing the game? Um, B, C. Okay, let's just fill in. This was C, this was B, and this was O. So, in this case, B, C, I want this one, and I hypotenuse. So, what function will I use? I will use cos. So, I will say cos of 60 degrees equals adjacent, don't forget, it's adjacent over hypotenuse. So in the pl place of adjacent, I will say BC, hypotenuse 6, if the unknown is on top, it's a multiplication, so it's 6 multiply cos 
60, and that will give me exactly that three meters. Okay, let's move on. So calculate number B. Calculate the area of triangle OBC. Now let's see, OBC. Now because it's 90 degrees, I now don't forget that I have that this one is now Okay, it's not necessary. I can do it with, without 90. Otherwise, I have to work out this one. So if I work without 90, then I say the area of triangle OCB, and it's that half of, it's the sign, so it's 3, 6, and it's sin of 60. And if I press that on my calculator, I will get an answer of, I just want to see where is that calculator now. Okay, let's just write it as I see it. I'll work it out. So it's 7.7, 7, oh, let's just get it correct. 7.79 centimeter square. Okay, and so that this was the first one. The second one, the area of the sector AXB, AXB. Now you mustn't, I, I'm, I want to actually take it out. I think, don't think I will draw it so nicely, but say for example that, and then I'm having this every time. Oh, sorry. Okay, so don't forget, and then I'm having also, say for example, it's here. Now, this was 60. Okay, let's just get that correct. This was 60, this was 60. So actually, it's 120. So I will find this one by saying 360 multiply 120, and that will give me the 240. This is my sector now. Okay. So now, I just want to see if I can do, do it a bit better, 240 degrees. Okay, so the area of sector AXB, let's just fill it in also again. So it's A, there is the X, there is B. So I can say the area of the sector AXB is equal to 240 divide 360 multiply, remember it's area, so it's pi, and, and what was that radius, can you remember? That radius was CB, so it was that 3, the one I proved there. Let's get this pin correct. So it was 3 squared. So if I press it in on my calculator, I'm getting 18.8 centimeter square. Okay. And then the, the total area of the glass panel OAXB, OAXB. Now, I have the area of OCB and that is symmetrical so it's two times that one so if I want to find and I can just end up here so by saying let's just keep it first green of O, A, 
leaves B and that will be equal to remember there's two triangles that I worked out and that is that okay, I'm going to put it in brackets 7.79 plus the area of the, that one there I have the pen plus that 18.5 and that will give me a final answer of 3, 4, 3, 4.38. And that will be in centimeters, I think that will be in meters square. This one must also be correct. It's not, it, everything was in meters, so this must also be meter square. And this will also be meter square. And that's how I work when there is sectors involved.